Hi guys, I'm Ryan Crowley. And I'm Gary Kibbertson and welcome to the second episode of the Prio Newsroom. This week is a very special week for someone on our show. Uh, Ryan Crowley plays his 100th game this week. Congratulations, mate. Thanks, big Gaz. Did you ever think you'd ever get your 100th game? Uh, there was probably a time there where I didn't think it would happen, Gaz. Um, as a 19 year old getting delisted, it was a bit of a shock. So back in, uh, back in 2000 and 2005, uh, sort of got delisted and off, off the list and at, at that stage 100 games seemed a long way away, even one game seemed a long way away so uh, pretty proud to get to 100 games and um, glad to have done it at Fremount, hopefully there's a few more to come. <laughs> Alright mate. Now guys, Krause doesn't know about this but I've uh, gone and seen some of the boys in the change rooms and around the club to, uh, to leave him a little message for his 100th game this weekend so let's have a look. Clancy Pierce, mate just give us a little message to uh, Ryan Crowley on his 100th game this week. Uh, yeah, congratulations to Krause. Uh, yeah, good effort and hopefully he kicks a few goals this week. So congratulations, Krause. I'm sure he thinks he'll kick a few goals as well. So thanks, mate. Congratulations to Krause. Um, 100 games, terrific effort. Um, I'm sure he'll have a good game and there'll be many more to come. So well done. Uh, yeah, big uh, big game this week for Crowley with the uh, 100 games. So all the best for him and hopefully we go for him. Yeah, obviously a pretty big achievement. We had Pav's milestone game last week and got a win. So hopefully we can do it again for Krause this week. Oh, it's bag, nice and relaxed, obviously, mate. Can you just send us a little message for uh, Ryan Crowley on his 100th game this week? Yeah, no, it's a great achievement. Um, one that everybody wishes to get their name up on the locker, and I'm sure it's going to be a good day for him, and hopefully the boys can produce and make sure that it's a day that he will never forget. Um, yeah, all the best, Crowley. Uh, yeah, it's been good to play with you for the last four years, mate, and uh, all the best with your 100th, and hopefully I can give you a few snags on the weekend, and, uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll do a job for the team, and let's have a win for you, so... All the best. Ryan, congratulations. It's a terrific effort. I remember when you first arrived here, um, I think it's about, the, or maybe the, I'd only been here a year, so you've been around for a long time, Krause, and it's a great accolade for you, and um, you've always been a terrific teammate and all the rest of it, so wish you all the best for the big day. Well, big crowd. Um, obviously, it's taken you a long time, mate, to, to get there, but congrats on the 100 games. Um, you're a champion bloke, and down forward, you, you know, you're a good asset to the forward line. Have a good one, keep plenty of snaggers. I know you're not afraid to have a shot at goal, especially when you're trying to pass to me, it never happens. So kick as many as you can, have a big one, we'll have a big win for yourself, mate. Good luck for the weekend, Krauss, and uh, back to the normal show. Well, Ryan, we have a bit of a surprise for you this week. Throughout the show, I'll be uh, bringing up a few little Ryan facts. Uh, fun facts. A little bit of fun facts for you. This is uh, Ryan Crowley fact number one. Ryan Crowley cannot eat peas. True, guys. I hate <laughs> peas, they're disgusting. Uh, as you brought up before though, I don't mind wasabi peas, but yeah, peas in general, no good. Thanks for that fun fact, Garrick. Let's hope we can have a win this weekend, hey? No worries. Speaking of wins, uh, how about you give us your 3-2-1 from last week's game? Uh, my 3-2-1 from last weekend's game, obviously I watched it from uh, back at home. I reckon probably Nat Fife was my three votes. Played a fantastic game. The Avatar. Uh, the Avatar, that's right. Uh, Stephen Hill. He uh, sh showed his wheels off again on the weekend, played another fantastic game, and probably David Mundy through the middle, had 30 possessions in a goal. Well, this week the team split up, and uh, we all went around to some junior clubs in the area. Uh, me, Gaz, and the big Clarky headed down to Bull Creek Leaming, Gaz's old stomping ground. Uh, what was it like to be back down at the uh, back down at the old haunt, Gaz? Mate, I love getting back down there, the creek. Uh, <laughs> Beasley Oval, it's where it all happened for me as a junior, and uh, as you saw yesterday, there's plenty of talent that's come out of uh, Bull Creek Landing Junior Footy Club. Yeah. You uh, saw my photo on the wall there next to Simon Black yeah. and uh, you Benny Cousins. Little arms. <laughs> you skinny little arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I was only 16 or 17 at the time, so excuse yeah. me for that. Uh, let's, uh, let's roll to the footage now, mate, and see what we got up to. Hey mate. I'm Julian. On your shirt? Do you want to sign your shirt? Your hat. Probably your hat's better, right? So there. Uh, so it's good. There you go, mate. I'm going to try and get him on like a half volley sort of thing. Well done. Good take. It was great to 
make it back to my junior footy club down at Ball Creek leaving there. So uh, Krause, what can you tell us about your junior footy club and some, uh, some good memories from back down there? Yeah, my junior football club back in Victoria, the Gisborne Rookies, the Bulldogs, or the Bulldogs Jumpers Gaz, the uh, whole red, white and blue. Uh, remember just heading down to Garden Oval with my brother, I used to get changed the night before the game and uh, have my boots on ready to go and pump through the car park and that sort of stuff, but uh, great times back then. I can imagine mate. Time for another Ryan Crowley fact. Uh, fun fact number three. Three things Ryan would like to do after he finishes footy. Number one, travel. Uh, number two, learn to cook. Being 27, mate, I thought you'd learn to cook one hour, but not to worry. And uh, write a book. Uh, mate, what, what would your book consist of? Maybe an autobiography, guess. You'd read it. You'd probably, you'd probably have a chapter in there. <laughs> Now on this show, we want to hear from you, the home viewers. If you write into the show, you have a chance to win tickets to our next home game. Now Gaz, I'm sure you've probably heard the, uh, the gollywog, the curly-headed gollywog around the club, talking up his show main minutes, saying it's better than Freya Newsroom. Oh, yeah, I have certainly heard him say a few times that he thinks he's the, uh, the highest rating show on Fremantle TV. That main minutes is better. That main minutes is better. That main minutes is better. But, uh, for some reason, mate, I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think it's true either. Well, uh, we want to prove him wrong. So, okay, for your chance to win four tickets, that's right, four tickets to our round five blend hall match against the Bulldogs, simply email us at dtv at fremantlefc.com.au and tell us why you think the Freo Newsroom is better than Main Minutes. Don't forget to put your name and number in the email so we can let you know who the winner is. The winner will be notified by the club and read out at the end of next week's show. Now, I know you love these Ryan Crowley fun facts, so here's uh, fun fact number four. Uh, Ryan Crowley's favourite TV show is Two and a Half Men. Charlie Shane. Charlie Shane. Winning. Winning. <laughs> All right, now on a more serious note, Gaz, we take on the uh, Kangas this weekend. Tell us what you think are the keys to us uh, taking out the big W. Uh, look, I think from uh, where we come from last week in Adelaide, we played a fantastic game. We were really good off the, uh, from the get-go. And I think if we can have a good start at home again this week and uh, maintain that same effort, we've got a long way to us winning the game. Good. Good thoughts there, guys. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, game day info for this weekend's game. Uh, right, this week's game against North Melbourne uh, will take place at Patterson Stadium at 2.40 p.m. Okay, uh, Ryan Crowley fact number five. I know you've probably been waiting to hear another one. Uh, here it is. Ryan Crowley's favourite musical act is Book of Shade. All right, mate. I think that's probably enough Crowley facts for uh, one day. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to email us to win tickets. Um, let's close the show with the team for this weekend's match. Now just before we close, I think we've got a couple more Ryan Crowley facts that the, uh, the viewers want to hear. Guys, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, uh, Ryan Crowley fact week, number six. The Freo Newsroom. Uh, Ryan's favourite movie is Rock and Roller. Guys. Uh, another one, fact <laughs> number seven. What scares Ryan Crowley the most? Relationships and, and <laughs> hey. the occasional needle here and there. <laughs>